Hey, today I'm going to be installing HIDs on a 2013 Honda Accord Coupe. Um, this should be the same for sedan also. The HID kit that I'm going to be using is the DDM 35W um, H11. That's what you need to purchase. Um, here is the reason why um, we're using the DDM today. It's because um, the return wire for the H11 bulb, it's actually facing down when you put it into the housing, which doesn't give you the shadow um, on your light output. You can get it from DDM, you can get it from the TRS and so forth, but DDM is the cheapest. So, I mean, that's what they decided to use. So that's what I'm gonna be installing today. And this, this is the 35 watt ballast. Okay, as you can see, this kit is bare bone. All it comes is the ballast and the bulbs. Um, it doesn't even come with mounting brackets, double sided tape, zip ties, or anything like that whatsoever. All you really need is either some, you know, some double sided tape. This is 3M double sided tape. And I'm going to be using some zip ties. The first thing you want to do is, of course, is open your hood and tell you where the bulbs are. If you look right here, since this is your low beam right here, that one right there. It's a halogen projector light. Um, it's this one right here, that connector on this side. And the passenger, it's back right here, right there. This is it. So in order to remove this socket, um, all you have to do is, there's a little tap right here that you press and push the connector out. This is the original you know, headlight connector harness. And once that's out, just take this and then turn it counterclockwise, like so. Be careful not to touch the bulbs. If you get your hand, if, if, you, if your fingers touch the bulb, it's gonna get the oily and it's not gonna Here last. is the H11 bulb. Um, only connectors that you need from this wire. You do not need this connectors at, at all. For the insulation, all you need is the bulb and these two connectors down here. So just to make things look a little tidier and a little less uh, messy, I'm going to remove this portion from this part. As you can see, it's not going to come because it has like a rubber grommet thing where it's not going to come through. You can either cut this if you're not going to want to save this and just pull it out. Or, like me, if you wanted to save this, you see those two connectors in there? You can actually, you should be able to see like a little, let me see if you can see it. You should be able to see like a little black, like a holder in here, in between here. And there should be one that's like right here next to this thing. Just pull it, push it towards outwards. So push it towards that way and push this side towards this way. And you should be able to pull this straight out. Okay, I got one side out. And here I got the other side out. Okay, so this is what you're left with. Now, all you do is you take it and you just slide it out. And you take this little rubber piece will slide off. So when you just pull this, it comes out. And then the two rubber pieces comes out with okay, it. Okay, here it is. Um, I've gone and removed the other connector pieces I don't need. So it's just the H11 bulb with the two wires. And that is all that I'm going to need for this installation. Okay, when you install the HID bulb, make sure this return wire is facing down. And you're going to be, if you're looking straight at the bulb, the return wire should be like at, you know, uh, like 7 o'clock or so. And when you, after you push it in, you're gonna uh, turn it to lock it in. So return wire should be at six o'clock. So that way there's no shadow that's coming through. What other bulbs, if you buy a bulb, H11 bulb, and then the return wire is up here, the only way that you can lock it in is up here, then you, what's gonna happen is the light's gonna bounce up and you see that line, the return line. This is gonna be a straight line. So the shadow is gonna cast out because of the return wire being on top. So make sure if you do get it, buy the one that's gonna have the return wire on the bottom. So again, insert it into the uh, socket, 
like at six o'clock with the you know the return wires and when you lock it in make sure it's at six o'clock like so okay i just inserted the bulb and so as you can see it is straight up and down um these are the two wires that comes from the light heavy bulb here is your ballast right what you're going to do is you see this connector from the ballast and you get your original here is your original headlight wire harness that we unclipped uh, this right here clip into that and these right here are going to be clipping into those okay okay here are the two connections connected you can't flip this around it only connects one way male and female to you know a female and male connected type and this is um, I can see some problem with this when you connect this wire together, you just have to make sure that this is pushed all the way into the socket. You'll hear, you'll feel a click. If you don't feel a click, that means you haven't pushed this far back enough into the socket. So make sure you push it all the way in. And um, right here, it says plus, and right here, it says negative on this right there. I'm not sure if you can see it. You see that says plus right there, negative. Plus goes into this little brown wire and minus goes into this negative wire slot. So make sure you have those lined up to here. So that's negative and that's plus, right? The positive. And so positive is this wire and negative is this wire. So again, make sure you like click all the way in until you hear a click. And then it's completely sealed and installed into the socket. Once that's done, your light will come on when you turn on your headlights. So double check, make sure it comes on. If it doesn't come on, make sure all this connector are you know, connected correctly. So make sure you route all the wires through down here. No, you know, not through up here. I just did this just to show you how to connect them. And um, I'm gonna use double-sided tape and mount it against this back here and zip tie it and zip tie this part. And tidy up some of the wires. And then do the exact same thing for the driver's side. You know, take out the bulb and install the HID bulb and the ballast and make sure you turn it on before, you know, you put everything away. Okay, make sure that they're here working. is the finished product. Um, the ballast was mounted on the frame here using double-sided tape. Um, zip tied the rest of the wires down here on the original harness. Um, driver's side, the ballast. It's mounted right here and again the harness is mounted zip tied to the original harness that's running down there and so HID bulbs and that completes your installation on a 2013 Honda Accord hope this helped you out subscribe for more videos thanks